hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again thanks for clicking on this video if you are new here please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos without much ado let's get started so we create new with a light print and i'm going to choose the three size i have resolution 300 and i create I'm going to double click on this background layer to unlock it. Copy my hexa code right here from Notepad. I copy this. I'm going to add a new solid color. So I paste and I click OK. Create a new layer and grab my brush tool. B for brush tool. I grab my brush tool right here. And I'm going to change the hexa code all right that's the same so i'm just going to use this right bracket key to increase the brush and i'm going to click once okay so i head over to file place embedded and i'm going to select this item the ray click the check mark to confirm convert this to a smart object Press Ctrl I to invent this. Okay, so we have this as white. Ctrl T to transform. Okay. We make it bigger a bit. Click the check mark to confirm. So I'm going to create a max. I'm going to reduce the opacity down to 20. Okay, so I have to try to select this layer and create a max. So I grab my brush tool, set my foreground color as black. Okay, so left bracket key and I reduce the brush a bit so I make it smaller. And I'm going to paint this side this way. I'm going to paint this side. okay so i grab my move tool i'm going to adjust it adjust it a bit okay and what to note part <coughs> and copy this test so i copy i grab my test tool i'm changing the color i'm going to copy this extra code And I paste. So I click OK. So I paste this exactly. Sorry. I'm going to get rid of this. And copy the test. Ice cream. OK. I'm going to paste it right here. Click the check mark to confirm. Highlight this and cut it. Click the check mark to confirm. So I paste it right here. Click the check mark to confirm. V for move to and I'm changing head over to test properties and change the size to 55. Select this layer. Change the five to eight. change the size to 85. Okay. So I have it right here. <coughs> so I'm changing the tracking. I already have it at negative 50. So I maintain that. I'm going to select these two layers. Convert them to a smart object. So I have this layer right here. And I'm going to add a stroke. So I have a white stroke. The size has 38 and position outside. So I click OK. And I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate. So I have two layers. I have one and a copy. So I'm drop 
I'm going to drop the copy down beneath the first layer. So I drop the copy down beneath the first one. And I'm going to select the copy. And then over and add another stroke once again. So I'm going to select the second stroke. You can click the plus sign to add it. So I have the second stroke selected. And I have the size 55. So I click OK. And I'm going to select both the layers. Equipment the copy control G and I group. So I have one group right here. Control T and I transform. I make it bigger. Click the check mark to confirm. Control A, I center right in the middle. Control D, I deselect. I select this and I'm going to drop it down a bit. Okay. I click the check mark to confirm. Grab my grab my ellipse tool change the color for to white set the stroke size at 92 I'm going to draw the ellipse shape right here head over to far properties far place embedded sorry and select this item I place click the check mark to confirm I'm going to convert this to a smart object so I convert to a smart object Ctrl T and I transform. So I make it smaller a bit. Click the check mark to confirm. And I'm going to right click and create a clipping max. So I have it this way. Select both layers, the rectangle, the ellipse and the ice cream. And group it control T to so transform this to make it bigger. Click the check mark to confirm. Control A and I center right in the middle. Head over to far place embedded. And I select this ice cream. So I please click the check mark to confirm. So I right click and convert to smart object. So I select this. Right click flip horizontal. So I'm going to drop this layer under the group. Okay, so we have this under the group. Ctrl T I transform a bit to make it bigger. Click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to select group 2. So we will close this. Select group 2 and I drop it a bit. Bring it down. Okay. Click the check mark to confirm. So I select this. So I have this layer right here. I adjust it a bit. Put alt and drag to duplicate. I select this. Right click and flip horizontal. So I have it this way. I adjust it a bit. Okay, so I click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to select this layer and the copy. <coughs> okay, with a group, so I group it Ctrl G. So I have another group one right here, group 3. Ctrl A and I center right in the middle. Ctrl D and select. I'm going to draw an ellipse shape right in. And I set it no stroke. So we'll draw an ellipse shape right here. Grab my move tool and adjust it. Ctrl J and I duplicate. So I'm going to hold Alt and Shift to reduce it proportionately. Select the ellipse. So I'm changing. Okay. So I have the color film here. No, I have no color film. And I set the stroke size at this color. 
So I'm going to reduce the stroke. So I have the stroke size as 20. We'll select this. Head over to Notepad and copy this text. I grab my test tool and I paste. I want to highlight this and cut. Click the check mark to confirm. So I'm going to paste this. Change the font to accidental presidency. I'm changing the color for the color of this text. I'm going to copy this extra code. And I paste. I will close that. Changing the color field. So I copy this extra code. And I paste. So, so we have lost that. I'm going to make this bigger. And I'm going to zoom in. Control T, I make it big. I reduce it a bit. Click the check mark to confirm. So I'm going to zoom in. Okay. And change the color to as this. Okay. This is the color. Mm -hmm. So select this. And change the color field as this okay. So we need this capital C. Click the check mark to confirm. I grab my move tool. And I adjust it right under this. Control T and I transform. I make it smaller. Click the check mark to confirm. We'll drop it a bit. Okay. So we have it this way. I'm going to draw a rounded rectangular to right here. Rounded rectangle. Okay. So I have the color from as white. So I'm going to Get rid of the color flow so no flow i have the stroke size as 15. i'm going to increase the corner radius to 59. head over to notepad and copy this test right here so i grab my test tool and paste click the check mark and I'm changing the font to the copper blue font. Okay. Click the check mark to confirm. And to change the color for to white. Control T and I transform. I'm going to reduce this. Click the check mark. So I have it this way. Center right in the middle, control A. Select this, control A. My center right in the middle. So I'm going to hold this and make it smaller. Okay. Click the check mark. Press Ctrl A and center right in the middle. Ctrl D, I did select. So I grab my rectangle to 
direct under shape right there change the color flow to this color and I increase the corner radius a bit so I'm going to drop this press ctrl a and I center it right in the middle so I head over to notepad and copy this text so we change this to capital M I'm going to copy this so I grab my test tool change the size to 30 and I'm going to paste click the check mark to confirm so I press V for move tool and I'm going to move it right into this shape for ok press ctrl A and center it right in the middle highlight this test and copy it so I grab my test tool I have the size as 34 ok and I paste right here so I grab my move tool I move this, grab my test tool back, and backspace. I enter, I move the test of this paragraph, and I center it. I align the center, control A, center right in the middle this way. Okay. In the check mark. So I grab my rectangle tool and draw a rectangle shape right here. Have the color fill as this color. Increase the corner radius to 90. And I'm going to reduce this to 60. Press Ctrl. Head over to Notepad and copy this text. So T for test tool. So I'm changing the size to 30. Ctrl I paste it right here. Click the check mark to confirm. I select this rectangle, Ctrl A and I center right in the middle. Select the test, Ctrl A, center right in the middle. Ctrl D I did select. So I head over to notepad and copy this. I grab my test tool and I'm going to paste right here. So I grab my move tool. Sorry. I'm going to select this layer. Grab the move tool. Okay, move it onto this shape. So I'm changing the font to Avalon ok I'm going to bold in the grab my test tool and get rid of this ok I'm changing the size to 24 sorry changing it back to 30 Okay, Ctrl A and I center right in the middle. Ctrl D I did select. So I move this up. Select the rectangle and move it up. Okay. So we move this up this way. Select the rectangle too. And do a rectangle shape right here. I'm changing the color fill as this. So I grab my rulers to grab another one. 
So we move to the top and grab it this way. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to zoom in. Rasterize this layer. Grab my pen tool. And I'm going to draw a line on it this way. So I join it. Okay. I right click and make selection. I have feather I have the radius at one. I press delete. Ctrl D to the excellent. Head over to view. And I clear the guidelines. When we zoom in, we can see we we have a rough surface here. So I'm going to convert this to a smart object. Raster right the layer. Create a max. Grab my eraser tool. Zoom in and clean this. Convert this layer back to a smart object. Okay. Create a max. Sorry guys, I'm going to delete this. I rasterize. So I select like this way. So I undo. I'm not going to have this as perfect as I want. But I'm just trying. Sorry. Installation. This is not going to be perfect. So control D I select. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete this and create another one. So I have the color for as this color. Grab my ruler. The guidelines, I bring them this way. So I rasterize this layer. I grab my pen tool. Sorry, I'm, I need two more relays. So I have these guidelines. So I'm going to click here. I zoom in, I click here. Yeah. Okay, so we have it this way. Clean that down. Click here. And do. Okay, so I click here to join it. Right click and make selection. So I have the feather radius at one. Delete it. Ctrl D. And then deselect. Okay, so we have a clean job now. Head over to view and clear the guide. Okay, so we have a clean job now. So I grab my test tool. And I'm going to type fresh. Click the check mark to confirm. V for move to. I grab the move to. And I'm going to move it right onto this shape. Ctrl T and I transform this a bit. Click the check mark to confirm. Put alt and drag to duplicate. So I highlight it and change it to delicious. Change the size to 30. Change it to 24. So I'm going to move this up. Hold, select this layer, alt and drag to duplicate. So I grab my test tool. And change it to the upper hand sign. Click the check mark. Okay, so I adjust it right here. 
on truth and I transform. I reduce it a bit. Okay. Control T. Okay. So click the check mark to confirm. Undo. So we hold shift and move this up approximately. So we have it this way. Okay. Alright, so we have it this way. This is okay. Alright guys, thanks for watching once again. See you in my next tutorial. Bing.